Here we will discuss a differential equation for unlimited human population growth, and also we will ask where differential equations come from and what they can tell us. See this material in the chapter on differential equations for exponential growth and decay in the course notes. What are we aiming to do here? Well, first we'd like to create a simple model for human population growth, to understand it mathematically, and also to figure out what this tells us about the population size in the future, i.e. to make a prediction. Our learning goals will be first to follow the derivation of the model for human population growth and understand that it leads to a differential equation, to appreciate that the solution to that equation is an exponential function, and to understand how birth rates and death rates of mortality enter into that equation, and finally to be able to compute the doubling time of that population from its growth rate. Our specific example will illustrate a general idea about where differential equations come from. Namely, we start with a scientific problem or system, use facts, observations, and so forth to write down laws, then formulate a mathematical model in terms of a differential equation that we will solve and make predictions about the future. In our example, the specific case will be that of unlimited population growth. We'll assume constant birth and death rates for this particular case. We will write down a balance equation that states that the rate of population increase is simply the birth rate minus the death rate. Let us define n of t to be population size and r and m respectively as the per capita birth and mortality rates. The balance equation in the yellow box can now be converted to a differential equation dn by dt equals rn minus mn. Okay, where did that come from? First of all, let's consider the definitions of the parameters. The per capita birth rate r means number of births per year divided by population size, similarly for the mortality rate. So this means that the number of births per year is simply r times n, and the number of deaths per year is m times n. OK, let's go back to the balance equation we wrote down verbally. The change in the population per year is the number of births per year minus the number of deaths per year. The change in n per year is simply a rate of change, or a derivative, dn dt. The number of births and the number of deaths per year are simply rn minus mn, and therefore we've obtained the differential equation as promised. OK, what do we do next? Well, we have a differential equation. We can simplify it down by letting the constant k represent the difference of r minus m, the birth minus the mortality. And so we have a simpler differential equation, dn by dt equals kn. And this is indeed the same as the differential equation that we had in the green box, where r minus m stands for the constant k. So what does this tell us? Well, the differential equation is one that we've recognized from before, and we know that it has an exponential solution. In particular, the solution will be of the form n0 e to the kt, where n0 is the initial value and k is the difference of r and m. So back to our chart, let's now observe that from the differential equation in the green box, which is a statement about instantaneous rates of change, we've arrived at a prediction that holds at any time t for the population size that's in the purple box. From our familiarity with exponential functions, we know that depending on the constant k, those solutions will either increase exponentially if k is positive, or decrease and go extinct if k is negative. So this makes intuitive sense because if birth exceeds mortality and k is positive, 
the population will keep growing, whereas if the opposite is true, if mortality is greater than birth rate, the population should go extinct, as shown in the graphs. Let's consider a specific example. In the course notes, we show that a typical per capita birth and mortality rate are approximately 0.025 and 0.0125 per year, which means that the constant k, the difference of the two, is 0.0125 per year. So the differential equation is as shown. We know what the solution has to be, again, displayed. And therefore, we can actually graph and follow or track the human population from now throughout time and make a prediction into the future. Of course, that prediction only holds if we really believe that that model is relevant into the future. In one example, we're told that the initial population is 6 billion, and we're asked what it will be in 100 years' time. We can solve this by plugging in t equals 100 into the exponential solution. And when we work this out, it turns out that we get roughly 20.9 billion. In a second example, we're asked to determine the doubling time of the human population. That means we want to find a time t at which n of t is twice its initial value, and also, it's equal to n0 e to the kt, the solution of the differential equation. This implies that 2n0 has to equal n0 e to the kt, and this simplifies to 2 equals e to the kt. To solve this equation, we take logarithms of both sides and compute that t is log 2 over k, as shown in the course notes, and by the way, this comes out to be about 55.4 years, which is then the human doubling time. This concludes our description of unlimited human population growth.